Hi, my name is Jan. Welcome to Butterfly Tracks. I am a solo senior woman traveling and living full time in my Chrysler Pacifica minivan. Me and my two little dogs, I call them my toddlers, Susie and Coco. I'm going to do a van tour. I haven't really updated you in a long time on my van, so I'm going to do that today. Something else really different today, you're going to know exactly where I am. Well, by the time you see this, I'll be gone, but um, it's a big update on where I am. A beautiful campground for today, at least. I, I need to do my Redwood Forest vid visit. I need to do that video soon. It's very hard for me to do. It's emotional. I want to put a lot into it. I want to... It's just not coming easy to me to be able to express The Redwood Forest video is difficult for me, not because it wasn't a magical experience, but because I want to come across, I want you to feel as enchanted as I was. I want to do some, uh, as, a, as much research as I can. I want to really give you some information about the trees and the forest. And so that one's going to take just a little while to do, but today is getting you caught up in some things. Today I'm going to show you how I really thoroughly cleaned, took everything out. I'm going to tell you more about my bed and uh, my storage and um, my brand new 12 volt refrigerator. So there'll be a lot of uh, van information there. There we go. Now the campsites are not all the same size or configuration. Uh, that one at this time of day that I just passed didn't have that much shade, but most of them they're quite nicely shaded. But if you want to get your sunshine on your solar panels, then you can find a site here that also has quite a lot of sunshine. Cottonwood trees, I don't know what these others are. Not the most private, but they're a good size, and it's just, it's so comfortable here because of the um, shade, I think, anyway. People here in all sorts of camping equipment. I've seen, I've been in campgrounds that have been, had a little more privacy than these, but it's not bad. It's got uh, restrooms and showers, of course, real restrooms, real showers, and you don't have to pay for them. Pay for the shower separately. Some of the places that we camped had to, you had to, I don't know, dollar or two for a shower. But I'm gonna take you down to the day use area. I'll show you this pretty little lake. This is a state campground in Colorado. It is Highline Lake State Park. Boat ramp, visitor center, day use area, group picnic area, and exit. Let's go to the group picnic area. I don't know what's more beautiful. The trees in the shade are all these families enjoying it. Picnicking, the kids park. The water out there, they've got boats. They're barbecuing. This is just a small part of it. There are a lot of people here. I think this is just beautiful. There's a lot more parking than this, but you can see that this park is really full. It's just so nice to see people out having a good time. Wow. Yeah, that looks like fire. But it's not. That's coming out of a cloud. Let's zoom back out a little bit. Yeah. Look at that. Sure, let's zoom back in. Is that fire? It sure looks like fire. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. 
how serene is this? I am at a beautiful campground and I am cleaning out my car. I can't do every bit of it today because i got to leave in a couple of hours, but I'm going to get as much as I can done before I leave. Gorgeous campground, oh look! To me, this tree, this cottonwood tree, gorgeous old, old tree, looks like a Disney tree. Like any minute, those limbs, those long arms, those great big arms are going to curl around and have a hand on the end of them and there'll be a face appear right about in the center of that and it's going to be a Disney talking tree. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you clean out your car at a campsite. Create a campsite. Open all the doors. Here's a few of the bed from the passenger side. You can see how the head's up just a little bit. Hi Coco, about Coco's photobombing. First thing you do is you take absolutely everything out that you can. I've already taken everything off of my bed. I turned the mattress over completely, put on new clean sheets, my bedspread. You can see there how my bed is propped up. That's because it is a lawn or pool chair with no arms. It's made out of resin so that I could cut the legs to fit, to make it level. But I don't notice if the campsite is not level because I always have the head up a little bit. That's what makes it comfortable for me. Pardon my extra storage that I put in there. I haven't done that yet. Now to a lot of people, this many pillows would be annoying, but for me, I prop my legs up on them at night. So I have uh, got my computers in this case, got my window covers right there, and all of my, this is actually a dog pen. Maybe I'll show you that sometime. Folds out, nice dog pen to let it big enough for two easily so that they can run around and play. I label the pillows. This is where my clothes are. I label all of them. For example, I don't know if you can see that, towels. Without that, believe me, you, you're, every pillow is different, but you're going to still forget where you put stuff. So at, at the zipper, I label them, towels, undies, pants, um, miscellaneous that haven't gotten filled yet. But anyway, all of this goes back in there. Oh, the big pillow. There's my walking sticks and the things that I've purged that I don't need anymore. Got a little fan, a couple of hats. Got to wash the dog faces. <laughs> That's my one burner. One burner butane. This is probably my favorite pillow, not just because it's cute, but where I put off-season clothes in this. My winter clothes are in this pillow right now. Got my cleaning supplies ready to finish cleaning before I put everything back in. Got my clothes ready to go to the shower before I leave. So it's been very relaxing here. Gorgeous place. Beautiful trees and shade. It's a luxury to be at a campground. My new refrigerator, 12 volt refrigerator, my Kohri, K O H R E E, I guess that's how you say it. And it's a place to sit or cook. Sometimes I stand outside the door here and cook on that. Like I said, I'm not done cleaning. I still have to go to a car wash and thoroughly vacuum. So that's to do yet. That's my cute little potty there. My little dresser still there. New storage up on top of the dresser, which I have bungee corded on. I put little hooks into this wooden cabinet so that I can bungee cord it so it doesn't slide around. And that's where I keep non-perishable food. My Blue Eddie's back there. I have a tub with metal utensils that you've seen before. I've got some paper towels extra there in my little hallway with an extra purse my Blue Eddy and my um, ice maker. Um, 
that's just my little 3D ocean art and a log that I have on there. Everything's tied down with bungee cords, of course. So that's the inside for now, not done cleaning. Lots more to go. That cord you see there, that white cord, that goes back to my Blue Eddy and I run it up to the front to charge my computer. My camping gear is kept in my rooftop box. It's a Yakima. It's a low line, but very wide. You can see it covers quite a bit of my car. And it ke it's less than seven feet, which is nice, because once in a while I can use a touch-free car wash, the kind without the brushes. And you can see it really covers quite a bit of the roof. It's wide and low and long. Kind of taking a shade tree with me to help keep the car a little cooler. So here are my two little stools. This one I put right here so that I can just step into the car. Don't have to get in on my knees. It's not good in some parking lots, but it works. Here's a little taller t stool. I can step on the short one and then on the tall one to get up to the rooftop box if I want to. Otherwise, I just step on the stool and then on the car right there where you would step in if there was a chair there. So again, I like it nice and airy and open like this, but I need those pillows. So I'm going to put the pillows back in the back back there, cleaned out. But it's looking better. Got to do this once in a while. Still got to get into those, that little bit of storage right there. You can see that needs some help, but I'll organize that. I'll get to that too. Now, oh yeah, I've got this little thing. It's just sort of a catch-all hand sanitizer. A little this, a little that. What things that I need to get to. And over there above Coco's head, hi Susie, we're going to wash her face. Um, there's a little fanny pack right there behind the seat. That's where I put my receipts and little things that I want to keep. I almost forgot. With these two stools, I can sit on the taller one and put my little camp stove on the smaller one to cook um, if I don't want to have to get everything out of my rooftop box. So it's a very quick way to, and they just, very quick way to cook. And they just, you simply just lift them up like that. That's how easy they fold. Takes up almost no room. Bed all made up, turned over, nice and clean, everything. Pillows back in place. A little messy, but hey, I gotta get out of here, I'm camping. Just wanted to give you a quick update. Floor is still working out good, just needs a extra thorough cleaning when I get to the car wash. Simple, not perfect, but an update. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for giving the video a like. See you next time. Bye.